No audio in Cubase 10 Pro? No problem. Stick around and I'll show you how to fix that in this quick tutorial. This tutorial is going to be incredibly similar to a tutorial I did about six years ago using Cubase 5. And it's actually the same problem. So, the problem is when you are trying to use Cubase for the first time and you have no audio. Case in point, I just loaded up this track right here and then I push the play button, there's no audio. I can see right here that I have meters moving up and down, but there is no audio. So, just like the last time, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to check to make sure that you have your sound card selected. Now in Cubase, it's a little different than, Cubase 10 is a little different than Cubase 5. So, in Cubase 10, you have to go up to Studio, then go down to Studio Setup. And right here you see all of my inputs, my inputs and my outputs are all inactive. So that tells me I have a problem. Now I'm, I've got the right sound card selected here, so that's not what my problem is with this particular example. So. If you did not have the right sound card selected, what you do is you go to VTS Audio System and you would select the right sound card here. Of course, I have the right one selected, so let's move on to the next step. The next step is we're going to go up to Studio again, and this time we're going to go to Audio Connections. Now, when you go to Audio Connections, you can see from my inputs here, I have nothing selected for my inputs, but this is an output problem. So we're going to fix the outputs. So I'm going to select audio out for number one and audio out for number two. Now, I should now have audio. Let's go test it and see. So you see, now I have audio. But when I was actually looking at that, I noticed that there was something else that was wrong. So let's go back again to our audio connections and let's go to inputs and you see here I have no input selected what that means is when I try to record audio I'm also not going to be able to record audio because I have no input selected so I'm going to go ahead and select my inputs um, so that I can record audio and one other point I want to make when you get to the default version of Cubase when you first start it up you will see the stereo ins and outs. You won't have any monos. You want to add buses for your monos because if you don't do that, then you're just going to record in stereo. If you're recording something that's a mono instrument, for example, let's say you are recording a guitar coming into your um, channel one in your audio interface, you're going to need to have mono input so you can record that particular instrument. So you want to do that. All right, so that is a quick tutorial. I like you to leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about this tutorial. If you run into problems of your own with using Cubase, please let me know what those problems are. Tell me if you have solutions for those problems or let me know, you know what's going on and maybe I can try to figure out a solution for you. Um, and as always, please subscribe. I'm trying to get my subscribers up. Um, and uh, thank you very much for watching this video. You see that like button? Click that button. You see that subscribe button? Click that button also. And oh my gosh, look at those comments down there. Please leave a comment and thank you for watching.